Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Fig, and today I'm going to talk about what to do with your brisket trimming. For people who cook brisket, you guys know that we need to trim it to make it into good shape, right? So it cooks properly. And this is the trimming uh, that I did from yesterday's cook. We did seven briskets totaling 114 pounds and the trimmings come up to about 37 pounds. So it's around 32% of the starting brisket weight and that's a lot. What I normally do is I separate the fat and the meat to make it into something else. So here you go. Okay. regular natural glove and I use my uh, six inch curved boning knife um, always a sharp knit this is a chef master um, knife sharpener put a link down below where you can get it and just start cutting it up this is the mohawk, right? And then we got here. I separate some fat into one side and some of the meat on the other side, so it's easier uh, to dice up later. Goal here is to separate the fat from the meat and then cube it up. Okay, let's see, this is part of the mohawk. Whatever fat you see, any kind of white fat. There you can see I'll separate it. I just want meat to be meat with a little fat as possible because some has the marbling already on there. Alright, so this is another mohawk. You don't have to be super precise. It's okay to leave fat on the meat and to get meat on the fat because I will grind both separately later. So yeah, you don't have to spend a ton of time. Just need to separate meat and fat as best you can. So I'm done uh, separating the meat from the fat. As you can see here, the meat ends up being only half the amount of the fat. And um, I cut it up uh, kind of like cubes and about an inch, two inches, inch and a half size. Um, we use this uh, for our soup that we normally make. But when we don't have our soup, what I do is I put it through a grinder, make ground beef. And as for the fat, uh, I also grind it, make it to tallow. So I'm gonna show you what I do when I grind these up. Um, I'm using the Cabela's uh, carnivore grinder. Um, you can use any type of grinder. It can grind the meat easily. But yeah, this is what I have. I'll put a link below on how you can get it.
the beef ones using this uh, plate, which is I think the 10 millimeter, the bigger uh, hole uh, one. But I'd like to grind it twice, make it a um, little bit finer. This is only once, and I'm gonna run it through again. <laughs> the consistency now ran it twice through the grinder um, I just like to do that with the meat so it's more uh, finer and now I'm doing the fat and I'm just gonna run it one time for the fat I don't have to run it twice uh, this also comes with I think a smaller four and a half millimeter holes I can't seem to find it right now so uh, this works fine separation this is the ground beef uh, if you ask me I want to say this is about an 80 20 uh, meat to fat ratio I'm just eyeballing it I'm not sure but it kind of looks like that and this is grounded twice this is the fat grounded only once I'm gonna bake this and make it into tallow and the ground beef, you can make it into anything. Burgers, sausages, or anything that you can cook ground beef into. Um, so what I'm gonna do is vacuum seal this and put it in the fridge or freezer to use up for a later date. And um, yeah, don't ever throw away your brisket trimmings because you already paid for it, the same as your brisket. Might as well use it up, uh, even give it to your neighbor, friend, family, or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to store this. All right, so uh, now I've transferred the ground beef into these uh, vacuum pack bags. They're about a pound, pound and a half in weight. And what I'm gonna do is uh, freeze them store them, store a couple in the fridge to cook later and I'm gonna give some to my friend. Yeah, this is a little, a little too much. I got 10 bags out of this. They weigh about 12 pounds all together, just the meat. And then yeah, don't throw away your uh, brisket trimmings. Use it up for something. Uh, this one, I think I paid $3.99 a pound for the prime brisket at Costco. Let me know how much you're paying for your brisket uh, in the comments below. And then as for the fat, I'm gonna use it to make tallow. Um, tallow can be used into different things as you all well know. Uh, probably do that in another video. 
So thank you for uh, tuning in. Um, let me know what you think. What do you do with your brisket trimmings? And comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification bell so you get notified when there's a new video out. Thanks for tuning in, y'all.